In this video, we're going to look at how to sign into iReady uh, by going through Clever.com. Actually, Clever is a pro, or actually is a service that we use at school uh, that makes it really easy for students to sign in while on the Chromebooks at school, and it's changed how we can log in, or how we have to log in from home a little bit. Um, the actual preferred method is to sign into Chrome, and there's a video uh, available out there to uh, see how to do that and the benefits. But I'm going to show you how to go uh, to iReady by using Clever. So we're going to go to clever.com and when we're here we're just going to log in and so students would click students, teachers would click here. Um, so I'm going to click on student and it's going to ask me my, for my school name. So I'm going to pretend I'm my son who goes to John Tuck. So I can see John Tuck Elementary in the Redmond School District and I'm going to log in with Google. And when I do that, it's going to ask for my email. So this is my school email, so I'm going to use my son's email. Um, make sure you have the at redmondschools.org here. And when you hit next, you're taken to this single sign-on. And it asks you for your username and password. What you're doing is logging into the Redmond School District at this point. And so your username is just the beginning of your email address. There's no at redmondschools.org here. Then put in your password, which is your student ID if you're a student, and you click sign in. It's a good idea to save that. That way you don't have to um, type it anymore. And then this is your Clever portal. These are all the apps and services that we use with Clever. But this video we're talking about iReady. So you click on iReady and Clever will automatically log you into iReady and you're at your lesson. Um, and so again, going through Clever makes it fairly quick to get there. Um, and so hope that video explains a little bit of why the change and just one way to get back to iReady.